Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video, and this is by far the most fun I have had in patch 10.1. So far, I was really worried about trying this specialization, and I was kind of putting it off, and man, I should not have put it off, because I have been having an absolute blast. This is literally my first day on Marksmanship Hunter. I just got out of Battlegrounds, farming my honor gear, and jumped immediately into Solo Shuffle, and started honing it up. This spec does so much damage and in today's video I wanted to cover some of the strengths and advantages and kind of little things I was figuring out as I was playing through it for you to take away to try for your own hunter and basically to sell you on this specialization. So one of the main advantages of this class is that you do a turret truck ton of damage. You want to be turreting at all times. At the start of the game I'm in camouflage and stealth and I'm getting ready to peel the enemy attackers off of my team with tools like scatter shot. I flare out the rogue from stealth. I see them targeting down my my evoker so i'm going to scatter shot the rogue and i go for a freezing trap onto the rogue honestly probably should save the freezing trap for the priest it's just going to be dispelled but using scatter shot to peel for your allies is great when you get stun locked you want to be dropping that roar of sacrifice on yourself as soon as possible i use survival of the fittest immediately after on top of this because hunter defenses are not that great so stacking those two together at least made me feel a little bit more solid now i see the uh, evoker going in so we're going to drop our salvo volley rapid fire combo and that gets the aspect of the turtle from the opposing hunter it's a really scary combo i love comboing explosive shot with rapid fire um and salvo volley with rapid fire here we get a stun in the freezing trap that forces the priest trinket we scatter the trinket rapid fire with explosive shot we're blasting down the hunter below half health we're just destroying him at the moment we got to get ready to try and interrupt the priest on a heal here uh we land the interrupt onto the priest this is putting the hunter even further behind into kill shot range doesn't go down we're almost about to die uh, we drop a flare here so the rogue can't re-stealth we go for a root trap and a snare trap that's also going to trigger a root through talents and we can get a lot of control on the rogue using these roots and using our flare to stop them from connecting to our allies here we're dropping another explosive shot we can combo it with an aim shot we got a full fear on the healer i'm positioning to get a trap out of the fear and boom trap out of the fear kill shot 100k i'm in full greens <clears throat> my voice is breaking from the amount of damage that uh marksmanship hunter can do like i'm literally full greens no enchants no crafted gear i literally just logged on flopped on this character doing top damage in these solo shuffles going sometimes four and two five and one and just having a really fun time tearing it up with how much damage this class has available to it it's like easily it's the biggest burst damage um but defensively it is it is definitely pretty weak. You got to be really anticipating attacks and getting ready to use Aspect of the Turtle. I think I died in a few lobbies without using Aspect of the Turtle, so you got to anticipate the damage a lot. Here we're going to camouflage again. We're dropping a bunch of traps randomly on the ground, hopefully to find the rogue with one of them and a flare onto the ground. Uh, we're just hoping to trigger a root and pull them out of stealth because it can be really advantageous to just get a rogue popped out of stealth right away and prevent them from connecting to their target. We're still just staying in camo, kind of waiting to see where they're going to go. I end up going for a stun into Freezing Trap. We'll target down the Evoker. We immediately True Shot. You want a death chakram with this um i don't know if i actually do i think i go for explosive shot rapid fire which is kind of like a mini go combo does looks like it does about half of somebody's health with no crits we scatter the rogue for appeal for our hunter we're still blasting down the evoker and then our hunter ends up dying without uh being able to get a lot of cooldowns out in this round honestly like double hunter not really a great comp um i think the survival hunter also or the, the hunter in this lobby other than ourselves didn't do too well uh in the lobby overall but that right there is probably one of the main weaknesses of marksman is that you can't really help your allies out a ton when they're in trouble like that. If they don't just use their defensive cooldowns, they're kind of cooked. I could have possibly got Roar of Sacrifice on them if they didn't already use their own Roar of Sacrifice. This is kind of the main downside of the specialization to take into consideration. Um, but you can carry with damage, which is something that I've not noticed on um, a lot of other classes is that you can consistently carry in situations. Here we've got the Rogue on our team, so we're trying to flare the Hunter out, trying to stay back, make sure that we don't get flared out or get found in combat so we get a sap onto the healer. I don't know why he switched the sap over. Sapping the healer and then opening on the Evoker would have been really good in this position because now they're on freezing trap dr we're gonna start with a sniper trap shot from stealth we proc an instant aim shot we've got the explosive shot into aim shot into rapid fire if we want to in this as a combo but he's already shield walled so i'm swapping off the wall we do a salvo volley to get explosive onto the hunter we go to for a stun freezing trap on the healer this is just a really big swap to the hunter blast him down to like 10 percent and one freezing trap almost kill him switch back over to the evoker aim shots into instant arcanes into kill shot procs we get life swap from the priest that's basically every defensive cooldown just immediately off the rip 
We cheap shot the priest here. Honestly, could have tabbed to the priest and maybe killed him right here um, instead of continuing to attack the evoker. We got a rapid fire we can let loose here, but we're kind of getting low, and I use Aspect of the Turtle pretty early. Uh, again, this is because if, if you're kind of greedy on defensives, you'll die. We go for a scatter on the healer. That gets the priest trinket. We get pain suppression onto the evoker. They have pretty much nothing left. We've got a gouge here. Honestly, I'm not using my death chakrams like almost at all. Finally, here we use the death chakram. You really want to combine that death chakram uh, with your burst. It's just going to give you a huge amp of damage. We rapid fire with it. We almost kill him here. He's down like 30%. We're also almost dead in this position, but we're just continuing to turret. Um, and this is what I mean by like this class. You can't, nobody can trade with this class. If you just stand still and post up, like you're going to out damage pretty much anybody one on one. We go for a scatter onto the healer. We got him in kill shot range, cheap shot. Now he's getting out alive with the kill shot procs. And like this is my first lobby, really inexperienced on the specialization. And I feel like I'm able to just run people over. I'm forgetting some of my binds. Um, so if you're like worried about jumping onto a specialization and not like having 100% certainty in your own ability at it, um, if you just sit down, turret, pop all your damage cooldowns, you're absolutely going to destroy people. And then just be ready to use Aspect of the Turtle really fast. Uh, Roar of Sacrifice and Survival of the Fittest really fast. And if you combo those together, you're going to feel pretty durable, at least during those times of the game. And then out of that, you're probably going to feel more like a glass cannon. So if you really want that glass cannon play style, uh, this is the specialization that's going to deliver to you. You've also got exhilaration and feign death. And feign death can be really good for avoiding damage. Here we drop that flare, drop a bunch of traps, steel trap, tar trap, just trying to find the rogue and root him out of stealth. Uh, and then we move towards the priest. We get a freezing trap out of our root. We can open up with an aim shot. We flare. We do our volley, our salvo volley. It's a really insane combo. It does, again, with rapid fire, it does like half someone's health. Um, um, and it baits a lot of cooldowns without having to use Death Chakram or True Shot. Here our Hunter's in trouble. We're trying to Roar of Sacrifice. Couldn't figure out why my ability wasn't working because we obviously want to get that Roar of Sacrifice up pretty much as soon as possible in the opener. But we're continuing Explosive Shot, Rapid Fire into the Aim Shot uh, combos with Arcane Shots into Rapid Fire whenever it's off cooldown. Uh, we get a Scatter Shot onto the Healer. We can do a Freezing Trap out when we don't have a stun. That gets the Trinket. We can also silence the Healer while we're blasting down the Evoker. So we toss out that Scorpit onto the Priest. This is going to silence him after a couple seconds. We kick the Sleepwalk. We got him a kill shot range explosive shot trying to push him into kill shot range our hunter's kind of taking damage here so we want to try and root the rogue off of our hunter so we'll drop a steel trap this is going to root him and be undispellable uh, and also honestly probably should flare the steel trap because then you're going to prevent him from vanishing i didn't in this instance but something i point out for myself and for you to to take note as well is when you root a rogue you want to you want to flare them so they can't vanish to get out of it we're still just blasting down we push towards the priest i bait death with a fake trap with a tar trap and then i go for a real freezing trap after they think that they're safe and they've avoided it then we that guarantees that we've got a freezing trap get him to kill shot proc got a fear out get our explosive shot up after the same shot we don't even need to and he's just dead at that point so we're absolutely mowing people down really fun class in terms of like aggression and turret play style if you want that if you just want to rampage and destroy people i had a really good time in the random battlegrounds i played earlier if you want to check me out on my stream it's linked in the, linked in the description down below as well i'm going to be playing a lot more of this uh because it was a nice change of pace uh from the other classes that i had been playing so far that were kind of more dot focused focused um, or control focused and this is just more raw offense and power uh, now in this lobby we've got the rogue and the hunter again so we're going to go into camo we're going to try and flare them out uh, drop our root traps to try and proc one of them out of stealth and we're in camo so that we can't be sapped flare on one side a root trap in the middle of here trying to get the choke points where the rogue would want to like sneak around is what i'm anticipating with this placement of traps we see the rogue is opened up so we can go for a scatter really like scattering rogues from stealth we can move towards the priest get ready to land a stun into freezing trap as soon as possible we got the explosive shot and we go for the uh, death chakra and unfortunately we got stunned here right before we were going to pop off with rapid fire um during true shot we would have done so much damage right there maybe even just won the game we're gonna go for a salvo volley he has picks the turtles at we stun we trap the healer we can switch damage to the rogue aim shots boom half his health is gone in one aim shot we get caught in a cheap shot here uh we don't have a lot of defense we got paints up up but i'm starting to kite away with our disengage we'll use exhilaration try and avoid some damage you can also use the aoe root on the hunter pets whenever they go into beastial wrath i think it's a really good idea to get the hunter pets off of you if you're fighting a beast mastery hunter it's a really good time to use that spell we've got a scatter shot here we could use it on the priest or the rogue uh, as appeal so we use it on the rogue this is going to prevent him from attacking but our healer gets blinded so we disengage away we happen to disengage the smoke bomb not going to pretend like i did that on purpose we'll root all the pets move towards the priest land the freezing trap now with that freezing trap we can use our death chakrams really good to activate offensive cooldowns once you've crowd controlled the healer or if the enemy's just in a really good spot to blast you can just activate your offensive cooldowns like they're out in the middle of the map um, but generally you want to be comboing them together with some sort of crowd control onto the healer final round we've got the salty rogue this is a really strong cuff i'm gonna be real like it's a super fun comp to get either in a solo shuffle or if you wanted to try and 
3v3 because um, the rogue just sets you up for massive damage uh, that can't really be stopped because your your casts aren't interruptible like a lot of other classes which is a big advantage uh, so in this lobby we're going to sneak forward in stealth let the rogue sap off the shroud to get the targets nice and crowd controlled for us before we're going to open up with some big combos and like i said the explosive shot rapid fire is one combo i really liked salvo volley rapid fire that's another really good combo it's basically just explosive shot too we get a cheap shot so we want to try and trap off of the stun i don't know why i didn't trap off the stun there i must have forgot my key binds in this round like i says first day playing but trapping off the cheap shot there would have been way better i kind of panic i go for scatter trap instead um, because i don't have a stun dr at that point we get shield wall from the evoker so we just tab over to the hunter salvo volley we get pain suppression onto him we're in a stun here we got roar sacrifice up survival of the fittest on the burst we feign death afterwards to try and disrupt their global cooldowns a little bit during their burst cooldowns uh, and then we're just switching back to the evoker we've got their shield wall over but we almost die and we die by the turtling that's how we're gonna end our last lobby probably had this game in the bag uh, but i did dis i disrespected the cooldowns and this is where you will feel punished on this class um is if you're disrespecting enemy offensive cooldowns and not using your defensives to their full capacity before it's over because i think with that comp we should have easily had that round but i didn't get the turtle off but even despite that full blues no enchants nothing not a just dinged 70 and just decided to jump in and was having a blast with it top damage destroying things figuring out all the little nuances i'm sure i've made a lot of mistakes if you're a hunter mains out there and you want to point something out let me know in the comments down below uh, but i just wanted to share with you my first experience uh, with the marksmanship hunter which has been overall very positive uh, and other than that thank you very much for watching the video i will see you in the next one